Pozdrav Dino, šta ima? Je li u redu da napravim jedan video od tebi, da izdavim neke odlične vokalne trenutke i tako to? Ej, pozdrav, pozdrav. Super, da. Ma ne možeš, uopće ne možeš ni pitati. Samo daj. What can I say? I respect the dude so much, I've just had to ask him. This is Dino Jelosic, and he's quite possibly the best rock vocalist of today. Now, if you've heard about him before, you may be wondering, isn't it Jelusic? And you're kind of right. That's an English variant of his name, probably made for people outside of Croatia to have an easier time pronouncing it. And I have to admit, it does sound pretty sick. <laughs> he's a Croat, and in Croatia, his last name looks like this, and it's pronounced Jelosic. When talking about Dino, it's hard to know where to start because he's all around incredible. One good place may be the Junior Eurovision of 2003, where Dino won first place with a song called Ti si moja prva ljubav, or when translated, You are my first love. I remember hearing this on TV, I think I was about 9 years old or something like that. I just thought, man, that's a catchy tune. But needless to say, Dino can't stand this song right now. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of young Disney or Nickelodeon music stars that nowadays do everything they can to bury the songs they sung when they were younger. Still, as good as a kid singer Dino was, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Puberty came and he openly talks about his struggles to figure out how to sing while his voice was mutating. My voice changed in 2008 and that's where, you know, mutation and stuff, you lose all the high notes, all of a sudden you can't do anything with your voice. In late 2011, I started developing more rock and heavy metal type of singing. Before that I was a lot more poppy and pop rock. I couldn't reach the high notes, I didn't have the depth, I didn't have have the rest as soon as i discovered head voice i just kept working on it and growing my voice you learn how to sing high and stuff but it's also important to learn how to sing with resonance to learn how to sing with depth to learn how to sing low to know how to sing raspy and then clean you know to, to learn the right right technique it took time to to get to that he shares a story about a vocal coach he had this teacher always kept him singing in chest voice and only in a classical maybe even operatic way but dino liked to go into his mix and head voice so one day the teacher told him that he had to decide are they going to continue doing the lessons like this or is he going to continue learning to sing on his own he always told me that i'm a baritone he never wanted me to sing high oh, you're gonna hurt your voice blah 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 he helped me to learn how to breathe properly and just warm myself up all of the high stuff and techniques i learned by myself dino definitely started as more of a pop singer yet slowly but surely became a rock metal powerhouse when listening to dino many hear a mixture of great singers such as Dio or Coverdale. On Dino's official website, it says that he grown up listening to King's X, Slash, Whitesnake, Dream Theater, and Toto, among others. And he decided to change his musical direction to hard rock and metal. Speaking of Toto, I'm a fan of the band too, and I managed to get a photo with Dino just before their concert in Zagreb because we were both there. A random cool memory. <laughs> So that's just a short snippet of how Dino sounds right now, but even from that one run, you can hear the quality of his voice. But let's listen to something a bit more fresh where his deep register can really be heard and appreciated. Bring the light, not the gold, cause I can be so. But what about his low middle register? Okay, but what about the rest of Dino's register? Can he sing in a higher middle range with rasp? Well... <laughs> Okay, I know that some of you are gonna say, I know singers like this, they only sing with rasp, they're always over the top, but that's not really the case here. Yeah, but he can't really sing that high, right? Well... Oh, 
Okay, I guess he's a good singer, but he doesn't play any instruments. Dude, come on. See beneath your perfect I've heard he plays drums too, but I couldn't find a decent video. Dino had a great fortune that his dad recognized his potential from a very young age. He introduced him to amazing music and helped shape his musical persona in a way. Of course, that was just a planted seed. Dino continued exploring and learning on his own. He had ups and downs and as a perfectionist that he is, he had moments of doubt and even wanted to quit. He always felt that he just needed one good chance to prove himself and that he would do the rest. And then he got an email from Trans-Siberian Orchestra saying that they saw him performing on a festival in Belarus in 2014 and wanted him to audition for a singing position in their band. They gave him a song and wanted to see him sing in front of a camera first to see if he has the stage presence they're looking for. He sent in the second take of the song he received and after not hearing back for two weeks, he thought he missed an incredible opportunity. However, then he received another email. This time, they sent him 70 or so songs to learn and invited him to a live audition. After making the journey from Croatia to Tampa, Florida in late May, Dino anxiously awaited a response. It wasn't until August 15 that he received the news that he had been accepted into the band. At 2016, Dino became a permanent member. All this time, Dino was working on his original music as well, and being an incredible singer he is, he couldn't have a semi-good band by his side. His band members are all top-class musicians. Ivan Keller on the guitar, Luca Brodaric bass, and Mario Lepoglavitz on drums. I'm a sucker for great guitar playing, and Mr. Keller is a master of his craft. Just had to say that before we continue. <laughs> Dino and his former band Animal Drive once opened for a Whitesnake concert. Impressed by Dino, members of Whitesnake called him to play and sing with them on their farewell tour in 2022. While David Coverdale remained the main singer, Dino provided backing vocals and occasionally took the lead when David needed a break. It was a big moment for Dino being alongside one of his early singing heroes, showcasing his professionalism once again. He also played a guitar during the tour. Let me briefly mention some of the acts Dino is associated with. Michael Romeo, Iron, Animal Drive, Dirty Shirley, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, Magnus Carlsen, Stone Leaders, Lord of Black, Whitesnake, Whom Gods Destroy and many, many more. It seems anything Dino takes on, he makes 100 times better. Lately he's also taken roles of a mentor in shows like Singing with the Stars and The Voice Creation. Dino stands out as a rare talent, but behind his success lies an unwavering work ethic, perfectionism and sharp intellect. While his natural talent is undeniable, what you saw and heard today are the results of relentless practice. Talent may be the foundation, but without hard work it crumbles and goes to waste. Fortunately, Dino doesn't take anything for granted. While he's already established himself as a professional with an extensive body of work, it seems like his journey is only just beginning.